am actually filming this part right now on my phone because I was transferring some files from my SD card on my camera and I, your girl forgot to put the card back in it. I have the camera, but I forgot the card. So I'm kind of really playing this one out. Yes. Our old couch, our animals have tore it all to pieces and I wanted something that had a wood back and that looked more like elegant. Like I'm still going for that princessy look all throughout the house and poor Jake's just going along with it. He's just loving every freaking minute of my princessy craziness. I found this one set on Marketplace and I wasn't gonna buy it. I was just showing it to Jake. I was like, wow, isn't this pretty? It comes with like the rocker and a chair and like little footstools. Yeah, we're picking up, it's like five or six pieces in total. We're picking that up today hopefully if we like it i hope that we're gonna like it because it looks like exactly like what i'm wanting and one of those couches alone is going for the price that we're buying for the entire freaking set so yeah. i'm pretty pumped about it if it as long as it turns out really pretty and then thinking i'm gonna chalk paint it and recover the cushions and stuff and i'm gonna and that's what this video is i'm hoping that's what this is because like we really don't know. Like I said, it's an impromptu video. So if this turns out and you're watching this video, then we did it. If you guys want to see how everything turns out, then just keep on watching. Man, we got the furniture. We got it after 17 <sighs> tries. We were paying with them up. Goodness. One, they didn't have service because they lived in the middle of nowhere. We're out in the mountains. Yeah, so these people lived out in the mountains. They live in a very you pretty area. had to give Wi-Fi password. It had low signal. It was slow. Uh, the payment got declined go four times on Venmo. Yeah. The first time I did it, it said payment declined. And then it popped up and said, congratulations, you made your payment. Or congratulations, it went through. Mm -hmm. He had to go get his phone, which was connected to a different bank account on PayPal, mm -hmm. went through the first time. So this is the process we went through just to get this. I talked to the lady that I was buying it from, and he was he was walking, he was with the guy trying to get it get it paid. She was so nice. Everybody was, they were both super yeah. nice. She told me, and it kind of makes me sad because I, I, I want to redo it, but I, I told Jake it kind of makes me sad thinking about redoing it. This, she said this furniture belonged to her great grandmother. They've always had it in their family. I always feel so like proud to have stuff like that. Even when I got the gramophone, they said it came from a lady who was a hundred years old. She had that in her home her entire life. Yeah, and, an estate sale. Yeah, and it just went to an estate sale. And the guy I got it from, he knew that story when he bought it. So he told me, he let me know whenever he gave it to me or whenever he sold it to me. And I did redo that one too. So that's why Jake was home. He's like, well, you redid that one. What's the difference with this one? And that's the thing too, is I can redo this and it can be stripped right back down to the, you know, to the natural state of it. So yeah, I, I think I am going to redo it and I'm going to show you guys that in the next clips, I guess, and uh, be showing you how it's set up in the house. But I'm super, like, I almost feel like a sense of like pride in taking stuff like that and getting stuff like that that belong to people because you know they treasured it they cared about it they just they took good care of it you can tell that they took very good care of it her sister got the um cushions and stuff reupholstered and they have it in this white i'm thinking i'm gonna do like a velvet blue with a gray like a gray chalk paint we'll see by the time i'm actually doing this video how it turns out but that's my initial thoughts of how i want this to look and i know it's just like to some people maybe it's just furniture and stuff but these are actual antiques like they're you know like i said her great grandmother so that has to at least be over 100 years you know and same thing with the gramophone that was with that lady for over 100 years and it's just crazy it's almost like you got a piece of time you know what I mean? Like you're almost like back in time and you got a piece of history that lives with you every day. And I think that's just a wicked thought. Yeah, I can't wait to get started on this. And uh, yeah, let's jump into my supplies and everything I've picked up to get this party yeah. started. So here we are in the house with the furniture. I've already got it set up over here, um, but I'm about to undo it because I'm going to finish painting. I've already painted painted one piece, as you can see right here. So I'm going to be painting this and this and the couch. And then there's a little baby footstool that I put underneath here. It's so tiny that you can't really put your feet on it. So I use it as just kind of like a little basket, a little basket holder. I think it's cute and holds like our little throw blankets. That way if we're sitting here and we get chilly or anything. So here is the paint that I'm using. I picked this up at Joann's uh, Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint. And it's in Parisian Gray. Let me zoom in here and show you guys. Is it focusing? I think I hope we're in focus. Got me my paintbrushes out over here, and then also at Joann's I picked up this fabric, and uh, Jake ordered me some. What is this called? Sticky back hook and loop tape roll. So like Velcro, that I'm gonna use to make like cushion covers. It looks like almost like a burlapping material, and it's pretty sturdy and thick, but and but it's still real comfortable. So and I think it'll be easy to keep clean and nice and. Uh, maintain the look of the furniture 
So yeah, let's go ahead and get started painting. For a minute, I've been listening to Sleeping Beauty. I don't know if you can see it up there. It's gotten darker in the house. The animals are taking a nap. Little Beerus is taking a nap in Teddy's bed. This is Teddy Bear's bed, and that's the one Beerus ends up in most of the time, don't you, baby? Don't you end up in his bed? Yes, you do. The uh, couch sofa portion. So I'm just letting it dry right now, and I'm about to go ahead and paint the little stool, so I figured I'd show you guys that part. Yeah, it's super easy. All I do is make sure that the piece is clean, wiped down really good, and then I'm just taking a paintbrush. A uh, sponge brush works the best, but I used mine last time on the other chair, and then I accidentally left it out and dried out, and it got really hard, so now I can't use it. But it's okay. The paintbrush uh, seems to be working fine. I'm only going to put one coat because I really like the look of like the brown peeking through like you'll see right here like I didn't get this perfectly covered like I kind of just brushed over it let's go ahead and start painting these legs <laughs> 